Hello, YouTubers, Minecrafters, and peoples of the Intertubes. And welcome back to Modern Minecraft, coming to you from the Kerpow Craft Kingdom server. My name is Tobin, and I'll be your host, and welcome back to the episode. As you can see behind me here, we've been working on our domed city part of our Folantis. That is, foe is in fake. And we basically are saying that we took over Atlantis. Oh, poor Squiddy died. So we've been working on trying to get the entire thing in case in glass and slabs, and we're almost done. We just got to finish the top here. The whole reason I'm not keeping it on completely underwater is I want to be able to let the sun shine through the glass and onto the city top so that the villagers can officially make it a village. Because I'm not completely sure how the mechanics on that work. But I do know that the sun does need to be able to hit the top. Sorry, music sounds a little loud. The sun needs to be able to hit the top of the buildings and needs to be able to hit the doors to make it. So we're going to continue to work on that. And during the last live stream, we went and... Worked on a wither skeleton farm, just a simple wither skeleton farm. And then the last up uh, live stream, we also went and took on the Ender Dragon with a whole bunch of other people from the server. And currently, we do have three wither skeleton skulls. Well, actually, we have a total of five, two of which were given to us. The other three we got from our wither skeleton farm and. So the next live stream coming up this Sunday from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to go and take on the Wither Boss. However, in this episode, in this YouTube episode, well, I think it's time for us to have a little fun and a little hijinks. So we're going to go visit somebody else's base. We got to get all the way back to our spawn point. And find out just exactly where that person's base is on the server. So our path has been fortified to be three long when it's over the over the uh, the open area here in the Nether. And I just realized I probably should have put my armor on before leaving and whatnot. But as I make my way over there, we're gonna cut to the. A little footage from taking out the Ender Dragon. So I hope you all enjoy that. Please be aware there might be a little bit of foul language happening. But we're going to try to edit that out. So here we go. Take it on the Ender Dragon. And we'll be back as soon as I get to that person's base. Hello, oh, gentlemen. Sir. Here, take Whoa. this. Fancy helmet. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, we're doing presents? I have presents. Uh, here. <laughs> have those. And thank you again. And some of this. <laughs> oh, God, no, not that. All right, this way, gentlemen. Uh, oh, nope, actually, the other way. The other <laughs> way, gentlemen. Charge this direction instead. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was a little afraid because the portals have been acting weird. Oh God! I got everybody coming in front of me. All right, here we go. Oh, well, that was convenient. We started in a box. And here we go. Oh, we lost our. Companion again. I see. Too late now, though, I'm afraid. I have to be extra careful about the Enderman here too. Well, go look for All right, I'm barreling in. <laughs> Tell my kids I love them. <laughs> oh my God. Wow! So oh, the explosions ow, ow. Uh, really hurt now. 
Oh, man. Yeah, armor isn't as good anymore because of dungeon tactics. It makes armor suckier. Oh. Oh. Dang. There, got that one. All right, I'm going after the other sealed one over here. Yeah, I'm going for one, too. Oh, 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 oh I'm dead. All right, we got one up there. Oh, I hear you getting close to me. Get away from me. Oh, there, oh. got that one. Oh, yeah, you definitely still take some fall damage with the bouncy boots on. But I didn't yeah. die. Oh, almost got it. Almost got it. <laughs> there are so many Endermen here. Let's see if we can get over to my gear here. Oh, dear me. It would appear that a lot of my stuff was destroyed. All right, that's that. Wait, you guys still, like, fighting it? Yeah. Okay, there's well, still one there. Fighting it's probably not the right phrase. We're, we're in the area with it. <laughs> <laughs> we're still trying to get all the little crystals. I think that one might be gone now, Graham. I think I might have got it. That one up there? Hmm. I think we might have got her, Tolbert. I think so. Yeah, but it looks like it might be all of them. Oh, no. He winged me off. Oh, my God. Wingly ding. Oh, my God. No, no more bouncing. <laughs> Oh shit, I was looking at Endermans too. I got half a heart, I'm going down. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, take damage. There we go. It's very exciting. Oh, 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 oh man. I was doing so well too. Oh, 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 oh I'm gonna die now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do. Come on, buddy. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I'm by somebody's stuff. Oh, don't get in, don't get in front of them. I don't think so. Other than the little thing with the bugs. Making. Oh. oh, not the dragon breath, come on. Nice. Ugh. Oh, and now I'm out of arrows again. Here, stand still for a second. Thank you, sir. Ow, ow. Oh, he's back up in the air. Oh, shoot. I just see a gang chasing you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh, no, go away. Ugh, these boots suck. They make you slow. When you jump, you bounce instead of being able to run faster. Oh, oh, what's hitting me? All right. I need to kill this dragon. I 
Interesting. My arrows are bouncing off of him. Yeah, when he's on the yeah, pedestal. Yeah, when he's on that pedestal, he can't hit him with arrows. Oh, no! Oh, man! I want that last hit. It's mine. Me too. <laughs> yes! Oh, I did it! Uh, I think it was All me. right, oh, yep. Oh, yep, you made the advancement. You made the advancement oh. free the end. <laughs> Gotta get in there. Some of that sweet, sweet XP. Sweet, sweet XP, yes. Don't give any to the underwriter. He'll just lose it before he uses it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that is my ammo. Now, did anybody bring a piston to get the egg with? Uh, you can just break the block underneath it to, to get it. Oh, it's on. It's yeah, on it like bedrock. It. But if you break it, it'll teleport, right? Yeah, all right. Now it's somewhere else. Uh, there it is. Yep. Uh, so. But again, you can't grab it. You got to push it with something. Or, uh, yeah, 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 break out the under, break out the bottom. Yeah, that's where. Yeah, so, yeah, trick. Hoop. And oh, there. oh, okay. Uh -oh. I accidentally <laughs> touched it, but it's right here. Sorry about that. Was there literally no XP left? You just got to put in a torch oh. under it before you. Oh, gotcha. All right. Torch. There we go. Did I have oh. to pick up my gear? Uh, um, think so. I might have some of it. I got a diamond axe that's not mine. Don't you mind. drop this at the bottom on us. There we go. I'm not doing uh, anything else. Yeah. There you go. All right. So where? There you go. Now you've got the achievement as well. Oh, cool. Well, thanks. All right, I am heading back to spawn. Yeah, let's go get ourselves some wingy dings. Have a little ceremony or something. There may actually be a pair of wings floating on the ground. Oh, okay. Well. So here's the end credits, everybody. If you want to see the end credits, I will say, uh, go beat the go defeat the end dragon. <laughs> well, the sky's the limit, gentlemen. Job well done. Thank what you, you sir. And one for you. Oh, nope. Tolbert's greedy. He stole them all. Oh, I'm sorry. Nobody else gets any. I'm sorry. My bad. You can dye them in this, too. You can change the color of them. Oh, nice. And there it is, my friends. There is the kingdom of the Wapau, the Marauder Kingdom. This is where we're going to do some hijinks at. We know that somewhere around here... He has a storage system of some sort. And I'm hoping that we can find it. Oh, this letter works from the other side. At least I'm hoping we can find his storage system. He's been working on this area, setting up his walls here. We just have to try to locate it. Got something going on over here. I'm not quite sure what. Let's see if we can get there. I do not see a way to get up there. Oh, there we go. He's got himself a little dirt staircase. All right. Now, hopefully, down this way is his storage area. So that's where we're going to be messing around a little bit. Now, this place does look pretty good, though. And no, I don't see storage area. We're going to have to look around a little bit, see if we can't find it. Maybe he's got it set up somewhere else. Oh, he's got a little bit of a path here. Maybe this path will lead to it. I'm going to search around and try to find his storage area. As soon as I do, we'll be right back. 
And looky, looky what I have just come across. I believe this would be his uh, storage area here. Seems to have quite a few things going on here. All right, so this is the thing is that we have with us this packing tape. Now the thing about the packing tape, you put the packing tape on a box, it makes it so you can break it and put it in your inventory, and then when you put it back down, everything is accessible again. And if you just put the packing tape over something, well now it's not accessible until you break it and put it back. Now this is just like a little bit of an inconvenience, slightly. But we're going to have a little bit more fun with this. That we're going to take this packing tape and we're going to break two boxes and exchange their places. But things are going to be slightly messed up for him. We're going to try to find two that he would use often. And we're going to exchange those two boxes. And so we'll actually find out how much of a headache it is going to be when he goes through and starts realizing what we've done and let's see if he doesn't uh go a little crazy trying to rearrange everything to try and put it right again so let's go ahead let's exchange two of these and let's see what happens now i'm gonna ex the two i'm going to exchange is going to be off camera just in case he watches my video and tries to see which one it is. So what do you say we have a little bit of fun here and mess around with him a little bit? All right, and there we have it all set up. A nice little chest with a message to the king of the Marauder Kingdom, the Wapau. We left a nice little book here for him. Greetings and salutations, the Wapau, citizens of Fall Atlantis, and their warmest health fart, heartfelt wishes of a successful harvest and a blessed year. Please accept these gifts in the hopes of us agreeing to a time of peace and prosperity between our kingdoms. And reparations for the prank that I'm sure my messenger has left for you. May the gods of the seas smile down upon you. Lord of Philantus, Tolbert. We're just going to leave that right there for them, and we went ahead and left him two ink sack stacks, a couple of magic books, reading Smite 5 and Sonic Boom, along with a tool bag we happen to pick up along the way, four blaze rods, and 13 wither ash. Hopefully that'll be good enough for him. I hope he doesn't mind, but I did steal a little bit of nether wart for us to start making potions of our own. And so we'll just leave that there for him, and hopefully he'll see it and have a good laugh, and I really can't wait to see his reaction video to it. And as for now, well, it's time for us to go ahead and head back home. And so we'll see you when we get there. And I also forgot to leave him six stacks of sand. Since we've had to go out and get so much sand, I figure we might as well go ahead and share a little bit of the love of sand with somebody else. So there we go. So now I'll travel back to our kingdom and we'll be back soon. And so there we go. The Wapau has been properly pranked. And you've seen us take on the Ender Dragon. And well, I'm going to get back to placing all that glass around our dome out there. Oh, poor squid passing away. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. A reminder again that we live stream on Sundays from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And Wednesday nights, Thursday mornings, it's Tolbert After Dark live streaming. From 1 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock a.m. All times are Eastern Standard Time. That's minus 5 GMT. So until then, hope you're having yourselves a great day. Take care, and we'll see you next time.